So as you start to work with Erlang and Elixir, you will probably hear names of a bunch of different books. And I wanted to go over and review a couple of them for you today. So today on the Beam channel, we're going to review Erlang in Anger by Fred Haber. State that if you are having trouble with Erlang or Elixir, that give me a call. I do training courses on both Erlang and Elixir, and we'll be happy to bring them to your company. I should also note here that Fred is a friend. Erlang and Anger is a great book. You can get it as an e It's available on the web at erlangandanger.com, and it is available as a free ebook. Well, Fred is a great guy. It's written by Fred Haber from his experiences at Heroku. So it's about, a, it's about 95 pages, and it's chock full of good content in terms of all sorts of things that you might not know about Erlang. There's a lot of good stuff in there about how to design supervisors and application startup strategy that's really useful. And I would spend some heavy time looking at that as you're, as you're architecting an application. Understanding what things should be supervised and in what way. I learned a lot from this book that I hadn't sort of seen elsewhere, specifically about how supervisors are all about guarantees. And for example, you don't want to have a supervised connection to a remote database because if the database goes down, your whole app should, could, would go down with it. That is some really great stuff. There's also a lot on, there's sections on everything from monitoring runtime metrics, reading crash dumps, uh, really useful. Finding memory leaks. There are Erlang memory leaks are, Erlang can leak memory in a number of different ways. And sometimes they're subtle. And they're the types of things that you're not gonna discover until you're operating at load because you know they take a while. If they're slow and subtle, they might not help in your tests. So being able to track those down in a production system is actually critical. Also, if you have something that's sucking up processor power in a way that maybe you don't want to, there's a section in there on that. And finally, the last chapter, one of the ones I found most useful, is the chapter on tracing. In Erlang, the Erlang trace mechanisms are amazingly powerful. They are really one of Erlang's superpowers where you can actually say, in a production safe way, show me what this module is doing, show me what this process is doing, show me what this code is doing. This is an amazing way to get some serious power out of Erlang and OTP and to show what's there. This is not a beginner's book, this is an advanced book, but if you're developing systems that have to run at scale and have to run in production, this is a book you should definitely have on your digital bookshelf. So thank you, Fred, for writing it. I really appreciate that. Thank you for making it free for everybody. I really appreciate that. I think we should all give Fred a very good round of thanks. And if you see him at a conference, you know, shake his hand or something. Please get a lot out of this book. And it doesn't matter if you're using Erlang or Elixir. This is really all about the low-level stuff that underlines both languages. So even if you're an Elixir user, this is a book you should definitely read and keep handy. And if you're trying to get things up to speed in Erlang or Elixir, please give me a shout. I do training courses for teams around the world.